And now to the safety of the thousands of people housed in those FEMA trailers following Hurricane Katrina. Nearly three years later, 20,000 trailers are still being used and Congress is investigating the manufacturers. CBS News Chief Investigative Correspondent Armin Katayan spoke exclusively to two workers who helped build the trailers. They say at least one manufacturer knew they were dangerous. Linda Esparza and her son Tommy Yeager can be added to the list of thousands of families feeling the effects of formaldehyde in the trailers FEMA sent to the Gulf Coast after Hurricane Katrina. Fatigue was a big, big problem. It'd be cold, flu-like symptoms. But they didn't live in the trailers. They built them in Indiana for RV maker Gulfstream Coach. The company got the largest trailer contract right after the hurricanes hit in August 2005 more than a half a billion dollars to supply 50,000 trailers as quickly as possible. How much pressure were you put under to produce those trailers? Oh, incredible, incredible amount of pressure. By early 2006, this plant was cranking out more than 100 trailers a day, about three times normal production, a pace former employees say that quickly forced the company to turn to low quality materials. So I was the one that laid down those floorboards that are so famous right now for the amount of formaldehyde they have in them. You, you could smell something wrong with the boards. A certified EMT, Tommy Yeager says he came to the aid of sick co-workers almost daily. They'd sit there and be working one minute, next minute they'd be straight to the floor. Just keel over. Oh yeah, just keel over. Current and former Gulfstream employees told CBS News the company knew it had a problem with formaldehyde. We were instructed to open the doors and windows so that the odor wouldn't be as strong when FEMA inspectors got there. Attorney Sean Trundy is suing several manufacturers on behalf of those who lived in the trailers. They fulfilled their contract at the expense of the people who built the trailers and ultimately at the expense of the people who were put in them. We wanted to talk to Gulfstream officials about what happened inside this now shuttered plant here in Etna Green, Indiana. But the company declined our request for an interview and instead issued a statement. Gulfstream Coach said it met all FEMA manufacturing specifications and passed all product inspections and is proud of what it did to help our fellow Americans. In some ways I feel betrayed and in other ways I feel ashamed. I put my name on those products and maybe if I'd have asked more questions. Questions that will almost certainly be asked tomorrow when the head of Gulfstream Coach and three other trailer manufacturers testify under oath on Capitol Hill. Armin Katayan, CBS News, Etna Green, Indiana.